Hi, my name is Kayla Snodgrass. I'm a sophomore at Thomas Jefferson High School, and my poem is called, You Will Never See Me Wait for a Man. I find it funny how everyone says how beautiful Mother Nature is, at least until Mother Nature acts upon a female. And I find it absurd how a man can have his pants hang down to his knees, but if a woman were to do it, she would be asking for it. Someone once told me that men are just inherently jerks, but they cannot simply inherit being a jerk as though it is a trait passed down to a son by his father like the color of his eyes. This is something that is learned because it's a choice to fight for women or to fight against them. If superiority depends on the difference between a penis and a vagina, why does no one claim a superiority between a pen and its lid or a plug and its outlet? No, I do not hate men, but let's be real, ladies, we do just fine without them. I hate that women are oppressed and deemed inferior to a species who kick each other in the genitals and call it entertainment. I hate that women are seen for their sexual organs and physical attributes and not their brain or even their amazing sense of humor. Why exactly should I not feel safe walking down the street in the clothes I own? I hate that if a woman has a small ounce of fat lining her abdomen, she is unworthy of attention. And if her nose isn't a little button on the fabric of her skin, she is deemed ugly. And excuse me, but I feel that I should chime in to say that ugly is an opinion, not a fact. I hate that women are taught to watch their mouths and God forbid a burp escape from her apparently inadequate, too small or too fat, too red, too pink, too plump, too thin, too this, too that, lips. And God forbid a fart escape. Because then, a woman is not ladylike, and what kind of man would find flatulence attractive? <laughs> I hate that breasts are seen as objects of sex and not for what they truly are, and let me remind you that their purpose is to feed a hungry child, not to feed anyone's insatiable hunger for intimacy. Why do women have to be taught to wait for their Romeo, their shred of light in their dark damsel and distressed lives, and not for their opportunity to become strong and independent? I will never wait for an undeserving king, nor will I bear his children, even if that is my womanly duty. Because this is a place where the woman's job is to have children and care for them while the man works and takes care of the child only when it is convenient to him. It's unfair that what's expected of me is purely the use of my uterus and my loyalty to an undeserving husband. My entire life, I will fight for the wages and the respect my two younger brothers will earn just for being male. If I have to gather all my sisters, march down to City Hall, and burn all the bras again so the powers that be will finally hear us, then so be it. It's not that I wish that females were superior, because all that I want is for us to be equal. You will never see me wait for a man, because few men have ever been taught to wait for a woman. <laughs>